Salesforce is a publicly traded company. Please make any purchasing or architecture decisions based on our generally available features and information, and not on any forward-looking statements that may be made during this presentation. This video brought to you by AppExchange Technical Enablement. Welcome to Multiple Packages in a Single Namespace, the sixth video in the 2GP Deep Dive Features and Use Cases series. These videos provide an in-depth look at the features and use cases for second-generation packaging. The next feature we'll cover is one that's practically synonymous with second-generation packaging, and that's multiple packages in a single namespace. This feature of 2GP can fundamentally transform how you plan and build managed packages on the Salesforce platform. One of the aspects that makes this such a powerful feature is the ability to execute cross-package Apex without the use of global classes or methods. So consider this example of an Apex class. If we were building this in one GP, I'd have to mark this class as global if I wanted code from outside of its package to use it. In other words, if I want to use this class across my own packages, I have to create an API that everyone can use, including my customers and my competitors. Now with 2GP, I've got a better option. By using the namespace accessible annotation, I can specify that this public class, which would normally only be visible within its own package, can be accessed by Apex running in any other package that shares the same namespace. And it's not just all or nothing at the class level either. I can use namespace accessible to make fine-grained access control choices within the code I build. Here, I've overloaded the my class constructor, but have only marked the zero argument one as being accessible within my namespace. The other constructor, the, the one that's not marked as namespace accessible, that constructor is essentially package private because it's only public to the other code within the package that it lives in. Now, I can also mark properties as being namespace accessible. In fact, classes, methods, properties, interfaces, even abstract classes all support the namespace accessible annotation. And unlike global Apex, we can add or remove the namespace accessible annotation at any time, even after a package has gone from beta to released. So I hope you're starting to see how this could open up a whole new world of packaging possibilities. But it gets even better because more than just Apex can be used across these same namespace package boundaries. For example, feature parameters defined in one package can be accessed by other packages in the same namespace. And the same goes for protected custom metadata types and custom metadata records and named credentials and, you know, of course, Apex, right? Now, all of these capabilities let you approach the architecture of your package in entirely new ways. Here's just one example of how a multi-package same namespace solution could be built. And I'll start by thinking in terms of layers because that will help me start to visualize the architecture of my multi-package solution in terms of dependencies. Now, from that perspective, it makes sense that any framework code like FFlib or the eSAPI library, along with most, if not all, of my object schema and even elements of core UX like page layouts and action overrides, you know, all of this would go into the foundational core of my multi-package solution. Now, layered on top of that would be my data access logic, a practice that's common in many enterprise software design patterns. And that's because providing consistent interfaces and access methodologies to the data that's at the heart of our solution makes it easier to define and build internal APIs that abstract away all the complexity of the lower layers. And this separation of concerns can go a long way in simplifying the development of the features that my customers are actually going to interact with. Now, all of this could also make it easier to build out entirely different ways for other organizations who might want to become my partners and build their own integrations to my solutions. 
Now, I want to say again, this is not how you have to build an MPSN or multi-package same namespace solution. This is just one idea, one pattern, that the unique features of second generation managed packages supports very well. So what do our developers, product owners, and DevOps folks think of multiple packages in a single namespace? Well, developers love this. I'm not, <laughs> you know, there's no getting around that. Uh, and in large part, developers love this because it brings sanity to large, complex code bases. And that mix of package public and namespace accessible codes, it does mean that developers can start designing inter-package APIs, um, you know, something that, that's just not very easy with 1GP. And, you know, the fact is all of that is, is key to having better abstraction and better separation of concerns. Now, for product owners, you can rethink how you deliver complex solutions. You know, because 2GP architecture is going to let you plan and build in a much more modular, much more reusable way. And more modular, more feature-based solutions can lead to new revenue opportunities because, again, we've said this in all the other videos, there's greater agility, greater speed to market, um, you know, and, and a lot more flexibility and reuse. Now, for DevOps, when you've got many small packages, you should have improved build and installation times, you know, which can speed up your CI and CD pipelines. And if you plan correctly, multiple same namespace packages can make it easier to keep customers more current with your you know, most recent releases. And in, in large part, that's because pushing upgrades to customers suddenly becomes viable for large chunks of your code base. What I mean by that is, is if you have a monolithic package, um, very often what will happen is, is customers, you, you might be on, on version you know, 2.5, but you may have customers that are still on 1.7 or 1.9 or 2.1. They'll be all over the map because you know, it, it can be scary as a customer to upgrade these large packages. But with smaller fine-grained packages that possibly there's no interaction with the customer at all, you can keep parts of your code base um, uh, fresh and up-to-date with customers without a lot of the worry that exists with these large monolithic 1GPs. To learn more about the features and use cases of second generation packaging, check out all of the titles in this video series. You can also use the 2GP Deep Dive Trail Mix to find additional resources about second generation packaging. Finally, Registered Salesforce partners can join the Managed Packages group in the partner community. It's the best place to ask questions and get up-to-date information about first and second generation managed packages. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the great content by Salesforce developers.